<laughs> Team Money Gang, we are in luck because today we are talking monetizing your book. <laughs> and this is such an exciting topic. First, because this is something that a lot of authors do not consider or are too afraid to follow through. Monetizing your book means making money off your book. And let me set the ground rules first. This is Timoney Gang, where we talk everything, opportunities, money, and all from the background of this content and authorship entrepreneur, right? Now, today, what we are talking about is absolutely important. And as you can see, if you want to make money from your book, I'll bring this to you from my experience without charge. The only thing I require from you is to strike the subscribe button, like this video, and then sit in. And let me take you through these 12 ways you can monetize your book idea and things you must put in at the back of your mind to make sure it succeeds. Now, let's go for the whole ride. All world over, authoring books is as ancient as anything. Books are a major knowledge resource for humanity. I don't know who first wrote a book, but then books are a no-brainer knowledge resource. I mean, we have actually traveled around the world, understood cultures, you know, embraced ideologies, learned, made money from the knowledge we have gained, all from books. We actually go get whole degrees, one, two, three degrees, all from reading books and trying to replicate the same by writing books ourselves, even though we call them thesis or dissertation or project, right? So reading books is as old as man, the way I want to see it. And then writing is all part of it. So if you're currently thinking of a book idea or you're about to write another book, that means you have previous books, then these are some of the things I know that would, may have crossed your mind or you may have seen somewhere, but you have always wondered how you can make it happen for yourself. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can go about it, right? Now, if you don't know, I come from a background of successfully being a blogger for 13 years, successfully running businesses in book editing and publishing, and having a whole career line in corporate communication. Yeah, call them my unique advantages or something. You'll be right. Let me take you through number one. First thing you need to think about is your book idea. The kind of book you want to publish, is it just... A fiction of your imagination something you think is good something you feel all right about doing or it's a book you are sure that somebody that represents a whole lot of people need this is very important because a lot of people write books and then they wonder why it's just on the shelf right I know you can actually have a powerful book as well that people need and they don't know it exists because you're not talking about it enough, right? I get that. But then I'm talking about the fact that people even see these books in bookshops or see you talking about them, but they don't have anything compelling them to want to read it. So they don't buy it. So that shouldn't be you. Your book idea, if it's not romance, of course, by now you should know romance is the first niche, book niche movie niche in the world because we like love we are human beings we are factors of love right so if you're not writing about romance which is another ball game to market in that sense i would advise that you look at writing books that people need process books things specific to industries specific to a gender or a a demographics maybe children teenagers women lawyers you know what i mean it has to be a book idea that will make people clutch the book go back to it again and again and again you know what i mean that kind of book idea if you market it well do the right things right will always be on sale will always sell number two thing you need to do to monetize your book idea is to make sure that you have a money goal this is something that every time you beat me i hear i see authors all the time you've written a book you're going to print it. You're hustling for how to pay the editor, for how to pay your agency, for how to um, probably, you know, because self-publishing is like the in thing now. You're looking for how to print it. But you don't even know first. Uh, okay, let's not come to pricing the book, but it's part of it. You don't have an idea of how much your book should cost to help you break even, depending on the number you're going to sell. You don't have a money goal. You have not done the math. You haven't sat down to say, okay, this book production-wise cost me XYZ dollars or Naira. If I sell it XYZ over a period of, say, four, five years or two years or one year, depending on what your first money goal is, 
I should be able to sell it this way. And you, I'm making sure that that price, you lock it in or you, in your mind and attract the people that will pay for them. Instead, what I see people do is, okay, I'm going to hustle this book when I'm done. There's no proper bookkeeping. There's no proper tracking of expenses. And then when they are done with all of that self-sacrificing, you know, money investments, they then look at books around them people who have written books and how much they are costing their books and then they place that kind of price on their books and then start hoping that people will buy it's crazy that's not a money goal so you must set out how many copies am i printing for the first year that is am i willing to sell right so how much should i sell this book so that when i i sell this number of copies I can at least make this figure in the first run. It could be the first year or the first print run, whatever. Now, I'm talking from the perspective of somebody who is self-publishing. So you're funding every process and you're also planning to make all the profit without sharing with any publisher and all that. So that's the perspective I'm coming from, right? So I'm going to do another video maybe later on how to publish traditionally and earn royalties, but that's not the you know the scenario in this in this um, video, right? So you must have a money goal, right? I'm gonna make five thousand copies first, and I'm gonna sell this book for say fifteen dollars. So fifteen dollars times five thousand copies sold within say twenty four months or twelve months or six months, whatever the goal is will give me X, Y, Z amount. You must have that amount at the back of your mind. That becomes your driving force. Remember, we are human beings. We always act and put energy to whatever we have a motivation towards. That money becomes your motivation, right? That becomes your motivation. And then that helps you to start breaking down where are the different areas I can market that book. I'll get into all of that book marketing aspect later. Number three is consider your book stakeholders and give them space to advertise you heard me so let's say for instance that the book is addressing teens and it's talking about academic success for instance who are the stakeholders of this book stakeholders like you know are people who have one thing or the other to benefit or directly oversee about the context of this book so let's say for instance this book is for teenagers. What is it telling teenagers? Let's say it's helping them to develop money skills. Like a friend of mine just wrote a book focusing on girls and how they should start early to begin to understand finance and financial literacy and begin to plan how they are going to make money. That kind of book, who are the stakeholders, right? Stakeholders are people like parents. Parents are the ones going to eventually buy these books for their children, right? So parents are one. You know beneficiaries the teenagers are beneficiaries now who are those you, you're going to give ad spaces now look at agencies of government in your country in other countries that directly cater to the well-being of teenagers talk to them write to them have a meeting with them give them a stake either you're going to mention them somewhere in the book that means you're going to give them everlasting publicity because people are going to read that book and say oh okay there's an agency like this that cater to, to teenagers oh nice so it could be a mention it could be anything so an ad space so you could offer them an a space to advertise right so let's say they they even have a campaign coming up and all of that you can actually insert some of the adverts there right other stakeholders could be people who produce things that teenagers use let's say clothing school um, school items um you know whatever um, body care products focus on teenagers people who make movies focus on teenagers those are all stakeholders right people who invest in teenagers all of those people you have to sit down and pen to paper and outline let me give you another example so let's say the book is focusing on quitting addiction right maybe drug addiction who are the stakeholders look at the government stakeholders to those who are fighting against drugs the agency that is against illegal proliferation of drugs and all of that that are fighting addiction national orientation agency like in my country ndla like in my country nafdac those who are who give the seal to what is authentic drugs uh, food and all of that those are all stakeholders families 
are stakeholders. Young people are stakeholders. Right? So you look at schools are stakeholders. So you look at all of those people who have one thing or the other to benefit and um, for, from the context of the book and give them an opportunity to advertise. Give them an opportunity to say, yes, we are interested or no. It is either the two. It's either they say, oh, we're not interested and you move on to another agency or to another person. Or you have those who say, oh, yes, I'm interested in this. It could be an NGO who, are, who, who is working in line in, in, in that industry who could take the chance. So either way, adverts from people who are stakeholders in your book can give you upfront income to be able to do this. And guys, this is not a figment of my imagination. These are things that I have friends who have done, right? And it works. I have done that as well in, you know, in my blogging books where I mentioned bloggers and all of that. So don't sleep on this. The fourth thing you can do when you're thinking about monetizing your book is to mention names or link, like what I said, mention names of people. I've already said it you know, in person in the other one. So if your book is a fiction, for instance, you have a character, the main character or whoever character that, that it actually was mentioned from the beginning of the book to the end, who is very visible in the book. In describing that character in that book and all of that, you could actually mention things like their favorite drink. You introduce scenes where they are having a, a refreshing drink of their favorite drink. So you mention a particular brand of drink Ah, and then you mentioned where maybe their friends are talking about them and how that, of course, they won't mind their favorite drink. You keep mentioning that drink in your book. That drink company has to know that they've been mentioned in this book. Wow. Very simple. So let's say, for instance, Maltina. So you have to go to the company that produces Maltina and say, okay, so my main character in this book, this book is, is a fiction book focusing on this, 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 that. But that's not the question. This character is very huge on his favorite drink, which is Maltina. So Maltina, are you ready to partner? So where we are saying his drink is Maltina, we can actually replace it with another drink. So if you take the chance, we'll remain it at this cost. That means for every time people read this book forever, they're gonna keep thinking Maltina. They're gonna keep thinking, oh, me too. And it's, it's something that is gonna connect them to the major character by saying, oh, you see people that are gonna say, oh, me too, my favorite drink is Maltina. And they feel very connected to that character. So Maltina, are you going to take the chance? You have to write a pitch and let them see the value in how you're going to do that. If you're also writing a book that they're not sure you're going to print and forever keep printing and selling and you have a structure of sales, they might not be interested because they might like, this book might just end up in one backyard and people are not actually going to read it. So these are some of the factors to consider. So name mention of brands and even link. You can actually mention that the character actually went to the link to order a carton of his favorite drink, you know, whatever. You can actually swing it to suit your, your sponsor at this point. I get what I'm saying. I don't want the video to be so long, so let me go to the next one. Brand review. <laughs> so imagine a whole brand, a whole organization, a whole product, a whole service being talked about in your book. The way I'm using Martina as an example in this video, I'm using other things that it, your book could actually be a processed book telling people how to use a particular gadget or gear or whatever, and then you're mentioning how an organization have used it that organization you give details of how they do it and how they are succeeded with doing it it could be a person it could be a brand it could be an organization a whole review of what they have done right being mentioned in a chapter of your book is a whole that even cost more and again all this these are all types of advert that you could cost differently right so a review of a brand within within your book can fetch you money don't just write about brands and then get out of it you must let them know that you have included them and made a very raving review for their brand imagine if your book has to mention one two three or four other brands as examples of your being your book and all of them paying you you're not going to be struggling with, with money to sell the book, uh, money to advertise the book, money for for tours for the book, all of that. This is something you have to sit down critically and tell yourself the truth that you are providing a platform so people have to pay for it. Because you can actually just not mention people. You know what I mean? So if you're going to give them that opportunity, you have to take it and make sure that they know about it. Next one, you could measure resources. You know how books, it depends on the kind of book, you know how books at the end now point you to other resources in line with the topic that you could go have 
more knowledge or more do more research on so if i'm writing a book of blogging for instance and then i put at the end other resources that you could you know go and then i mention hubspot mention some of the books uh, maybe social marketing all of those sites at the end and i put their links and say oh you could go and read it for further reading what have i done i'm sending leads and leads every time we talk about leads we talk about as if it's just numbers you're sending people who may or may not have known about these other people to them so you are sending somebody to buy from them so why not they have to pay for it so all the people who you're going to list as extra resources for your book for your readers they need to know and they need to pay something to be there yes these are things we do with blogging with vlogging and why not books are even more tangible more sustainable and all of that right now the next way to monetize your book idea you ask me and i'm telling you for free you, you have been desiring how to make money from your book and i heard you and i'm giving you all the juice for free have you subscribed yet have you thank you all right let's go next is sell non-download copy of your book so i know you're trying to make this book a hard copy a paperback and all of that but you could in your campaign to, or your launch towards this book you could actually release the soft copy of this book either at the beginning or during the launch or later on whatever but to make extra income you can actually save another market that prefers to read on the go that they prefer to read your books on their tab and they want to pay lower so you can actually release a soft copy or e, e version of your book later on or like i said in the beginning but make it non-download non what non-download so people pay to access it and then they can read it on the go without having to download it to prevent piracy yeah so that could bring in extra income of course it's going to be charged lower than the paperback or the hardcover and all of that that's why you see on kindle and all of that you could see a book that is say um six dollars for paperback or nine dollars and then you come to kindle and say 99 cents or one dollar or two dollars you get so you don't download it but you read it on the go so you still get the knowledge right so that could be another money source that you should think about don't be stuck up on i'm just going to do my hardcover i'm not going to do any other thing you know be flexible if you want more money explore more avenues and you know the funny thing i've discovered some people will buy your soft copy read it and still want to buy the hardcover sometime that's the way it works or they might want to buy the hardcover because they have now read the book they know the value of the book they might want to buy the hardcover as a gift to someone else so don't remove or don't kill the idea of trying to make your book in different formats right another way to make money from your book is to sell hardcover attached with a gift now let me explain this this always goes when you when you want to reach an audience that wants to use your book to serve their own stakeholders as a gift to give their boss or to give members of their staff or give people who they think deserve it right so these are people usually who have read your book already they know the value and now they are thinking of gifting your book to other people make it worth their while so if they bought your book in e-copy or in um, paperback you could have a hardcover edition that is well packaged and has like a gift it could be a t-shirt of your book it could be a cap of your book it could be something else right or a key holder a book divider whatever it is that makes it extra unique that is packaged exclusively so it's priced higher but it's priced higher for a reason for those who want to use your book as a gift now, that will bring another money source are you thinking what i'm thinking guys I see what I'm saying. So you don't get stuck on just your paperback and selling it. You have different options, right? Next way you can make money and more money from your book is to also sell paperback. So I'm saying have different formats. So you don't just have hardcover and sell exclusive clients. They also have paperback where people can buy. Of course, it's a bit lower. So hardcover might be twenty five dollars for instance. Paperback might be nineteen dollars, eighteen dollars or so ebook might be priced way lower okay so that way you have it's like tier payment you have tiered your book product in a way that anybody who wants the knowledge can afford at their level and at different formats make sure you launch your book but wait sorry it's not the usual book launch that we do <laughs> i don't know who who is thinking like me like 
there's a way we do book launches in my country usually a lot of people do book launches where they they get a hall decorate it send out invitation cards just like weddings invite people to come in at a particular date usually an evening some do morning and afternoon as well usually an evening they have other side attractions they launch the book a, a part of the program will be where they will showcase the book, open it up, hold it up, take a picture, now ask people to come out and bid. It's like, it's like okay, so how much are you going to give to pick a copy? People come out to say, okay, I'm going to pay this amount of Naira or this amount of dollar to pick so-so number of copies. And as they are picking, you know, people are clapping for them, people are coming and all that, all that. That's also good, right? But that's not the only kind of launch I'm talking about. Launching your book, I mean is having a 90 days or a 60 days or at least a 30 day every day promotion of your book the final day of your launch becomes the day your book becomes available or become delivered to those who have already paid now that's one way a second way is also launches in a way that on the final day of your promo becomes the day you go live to showcase the book and make it available for people to purchase on your website. It can also be a physical event where after a series of promos and the essence and the problem is going to solve, you have a particular day where people can come into a physical location to pick a copy of their books, have you autograph them and take pictures with them. So either way, make sure you do any of those formats or all of this format at different times to keep cashing out on your book. Don't take this for granted. Don't just make your book and hide it. Your book is your whole institution. If nobody has told you, you heard it here first. Your book is a whole institution. And that takes me to the next point. Another way to make mad money from your book is to create matches, merchandise. So I mentioned that in passing when I was talking about the, the hardcover book. Like I said, your book is a, a whole institution. So think about your book this way. So assuming I wrote a book I called Girl Power. And the book is about how to get girls to think investment. Like yesterday I was talking to my husband and I'm like, do women really talk about the big investment and, you know, real estate? Why is it that less, and less women than men are interested in things like investment and, you know, women tend to be interested in businesses like hair business, all those kind of things. You know more like girly businesses but now as you mean my book you know i'm giving an example it's talking about how women can take advantage of bigger investments like real estate dividend bonds stuff like that and then after i'm done writing the book i then go ahead to have like t-shirts with you know girl power written on it that i'm selling alongside the book people are going to buy imagine i have like tea cups imagine i have like imagine i i even create like a whole uh, collection it can be a fashion collection of how girl bosses dress and then that becomes girl power it could be anything right it could be writing parts it could be pen i know a lady who created a whole denim jean with her brand on it you could see there is no limitation to what you can create um, in line with your book idea right so give us some girl power um phone packs give us some girl power phones why not you could go customize actual phones from the phone manufacturing companies in the name of girl power you know what i mean so that you can have extra income extra income so people who may not have even read your book or who, at a time people may not even know that girl power is was a book but they are now buying girl power t-shirts girl power you know you know what i mean start a whole trend there are a lot of people who have written several books sometimes will be asking themselves so which of my books is like my key book is like my my cash cow right so that i can use to test run this go and sit down and ask for yourself ask yourself which of my books can i reinvent and rebrand to do all of this probably with okay now the next one which is like you know the final for this video but of course not it doesn't exhaust the ideas the ideas are a whole, lot, whole lot like i said i don't want this video to be so long is to create an event with your book i think this is pretty easy right so let's still say that you know your book is girl power and it's about financial education for you for girls or for women you can girl you create a girl power conference easily and that is where your girl power t-shirt will fly. Your girl power mugs will fly. Your girl power, you know what I mean? Your girl power phone packs will sell. Create an event. And you could simply make 
entrance to the event, purchase of your book. So your book becomes the ticket for people to attend the conference. Am I talking to someone who is excited? Now, these are some of the ideas. If you need more ideas, ask me in the comment section. If you have used any of these ideas before and it's worked for you, let me also know in the comment section so other people can learn. And I might feature you in this channel as well. You tell us how you have done it. So you know that right here we share, 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 share because the goal is to get to the bag really fast why not especially if you're african or if you're somebody who has been in the creative industry i'll bring you another episode soon so keep it locked down here chi money gang let's do this next time when i come back bye